civil rights and gay rights. Let me tell you, civil rights for blacks and gay rights for gays are two different things. They say it's the same thing. But it's not the same thing. It is that because, you know, what? I don't know what you are unless you tell me what you are if you gay. But when I walk in that room, you can tell that I'm black. I'm black from cradle to grave. Let's not get that confused. But but they can actually change. You, You know, you can go from being straight to being gay to being transgender and all these other uh, genders. But when you black, I don't have a choice. I don't have a choice. So to compare the two, when did gays come over here and shit? Yeah, that, uh, unpleasant individual you just heard from is Vernon Jones. He was on Steve Bannon's podcast. And, uh, That rant took place because he's running for a seat in the US House of Representatives, Georgia's 10th district to be exact. And the war on the LGBTQ community just gets more and more ridiculous by the day. Obviously, people don't choose their sexuality. I certainly didn't choose to be straight, but I mean, even acknowledging that ridiculous argument, I feel like lowers us. But nonetheless, he also tweeted homophobic nonsense on Twitter saying the left wants to compare being black to being gay. And let me make one thing clear, that's not just a lie. It's a damn lie. Oh, Thank you for that distinction, so smart. MLK didn't fight for the right to read to children dressed up as a woman. He fought for real equality, don't confuse it. So do so if I wanna read to children, do I need to dress up like a man? Like that tweet made no sense. Now, obviously, he's trying to. That's all. Yeah, he's just trying to target the transgender community, of course. Um, Now, he was formerly a Democratic member of the Georgia House of Representatives, believe it or not, John. And uh, in 2020, Jones allegedly said to uh, Steph. Steffi Kuntz, um, Georgia's first openly trans politician. Uh, Georgia City Councilwoman uh, said that she was in the state's capital on Tuesday. And she tried to have a discussion with Vernon Jones about why he was supporting anti-immigrant legislation. The conversation quickly became heated according to her. And she said she uh, he started to rant about how LGBTQ rights are not civil rights. You might be a man one day and a woman the next. I don't even know who you are, Jones allegedly said. And so uh, if you're not disgusted enough by this, uh, we've got a lot more to get to. But before we do, John, care to weigh in on this? Uh, Yeah, uh, to your prior question, yes, I am disgusted enough. That's actually more than enough for me. No, I'm disgusted. I'm not surprised. I know that the idea that he used to be a Democrat in state government is supposed to be shocking, but the idea that uh, Democratic politicians could be homophobic or transphobic or fundamentally uh, disinterested and ignorant about people who've lived lives unlike their own. I'm not, I'm not that surprised by that, honestly. He fits into a long legacy, uh, even in this particular area. Because even the Democrats that uh, now act mostly right, at least in public on these issues, they got there like five years ago. So all of this is still incredibly fresh. He is uh, purposefully ignorant. He is being purposefully strategically ignorant about these issues. He might also be genuinely ignorant. I will not say that he isn't, but he's doing this because he knows that's what the Republicans want to hear. He looks out there at the audience. He sees the disgust and fear and suspicion they have for this community, and he is providing that for them. Like every other Republican in lieu of an actual policy platform. And while of course, uh, the civil rights struggles of these different groups are not exactly the same. And let me acknowledge that I'm neither black nor a member of the LGBTQ plus community. So it's not up to me definitively to, to be deciding on this. Uh, there are certainly some similarities. We even recently had a number of Republicans saying that, uh, man, you know, we allowed gay people to get married. And they said that would be enough, which fact check, no, nobody ever said that's where civil rights are supposed to end. And now they want so much more. Where does it end? Well, look at how so many Republicans talk about about racism against black Americans. Did you know we elected Barack Obama president and still they're saying there's racism? This this approach, this vilification of these communities actually has quite a bit in common that he is purposefully pretending not to understand. Also, while he engages in his anti trans rhetoric. Uh, Let's acknowledge that he's doing so to pander to a group of people who see him as subhuman, who see him as someone who's not worthy of the same rights. 
who see him as someone who is worthy of being discriminated against. That's the thing that amazes me because he's talking about this as if, you know, rights in America is really a zero sum game. And if black people in this country have rights, if they have equality, um, you know, or, or if the transgender community does, or members of the LGBTQ community do, it's somehow going to take away from his rights. Mm-hmm. But I, I got news for him: the party that he's simping for now, like, hates him too. Yeah. Along with the transgender community. Yeah. Right. But it doesn't matter because clearly this is a guy who lacks any and all principles. As I mentioned, he was a Democrat earlier. And after his last term in the Georgia House of Representatives, he announced that he's now a member of the Republican Party. What's interesting is he had initially aspired to run for governor, but Trump shot that down real quick. And he ended up dropping out of that race. Trump ended up endorsing. Former Senator David Perdue for that position. And so, what is Vernon Jones up to today? Well, he has started a, a very worthy war against these vicious unicorns. Okay, so what am I talking about here? Apparently, they've been getting books like It's Okay to Be a Unicorn Band. Okay, Jason Tharp is the author of this book and he was scheduled to read the book at an Ohio school. But he was later informed that he would be unable to read the book at the event. So let's take a look at the book in question, there it is, it's very cute. So what happened? What? Why did they decide to pull the book? Well, the school district held an emergency school board meeting last Friday. Most of the parents who attended spoke in favor of this book. A district official said that only 1% complained, only 1%, oh, I'm sorry, one parent, not even 1%, one parent, one parent complained, and that they wanted to ensure the book was vetted before being allowed into the event. Fair, because you never know. Um, kids might learn some pretty vicious things when reading a book about unicorns. Mm-hmm. Michelle Mock, a district parent and teacher, said the district officials are avoiding taking any responsibility for the decision, effectively hiding those responsible for banning it over anti-gay hysteria. And so is this book even about the LGBTQ community? Um, No, it turns out it has nothing to do with them at all. Uh, In fact, the book is actually about me as a kid. I grew up where I felt out of place, the author said. Only after he had a brain tumor did he realize the level of self negativity he felt as a kid, he explained. So he wrote a book encouraging kids to do what he did, express kindness to himself and others and to develop the talents that make them most unique, drawing in the author's case. And he said one more one more quote, because I think it's important to hear from the author here. I'm not here to entertain adults that want to project their own whatever issues onto a children's book. I'm here to create books that inspire kids to dream big, embrace themselves, understand the importance of self kindness, to really learn how to manage your emotions because it's a confusing world we live in. And being a human is not easy. If an adult is struggling, that's what therapy's for, not my kids books. John. Yeah, that seems like a pretty responsible way to look at the world. I don't know him. I haven't yet read the book. I'm working my way through it. A few more months and I'll probably be done. No, but that's the thing that makes it most ridiculous is they said that they need to vet the book to make sure that there's nothing bad in it. It's not the Panama Papers, it's a unicorn kids book. Hand it over, let's vet it right now. Honestly, what is it gonna take, two or three minutes? Those aren't exactly page turners, or at least there aren't that many pages to turn. I think you can vet it in about five minutes. Um, but yeah, no, it's which do you think is more pathetic? Being triggered by a straight cartoon unicorn or being uh, triggered by a fictional cow? Is this more or less pathetic than Devin <laughs> Nunes? I'm honestly not sure. That is a unicorn that, so far as you know, shares your own sexuality. You should be perfectly comfortable with it, you bigot. I mean, it is so pathetic. And you make such a great point. Okay, great. Vet the book. Look at um, it. Yeah. What's it I got? Just Thousand words, maybe? <sighs> vet it right now. Go vet it. I'll give you a minute. Can I? Can I just say, I'm gonna give myself a pat on the back right now. I deserve it because I think I would be a great parent. I would I would raise wonderful children. I think I have good values. But the reason why I don't have kids is 
Because I also know that like, I'm just keeping it real. Like if anyone ever does anything like the anti mask people or the anti vax people that were showing up at schools and harassing kids who wore masks. Like I, I don't know if I could prevent myself from being violent toward those people if they're targeting my kid. That's why I don't have kids like yeah. I don't. But there's a bunch of panicky mofos out there who are scared of the world around them and they're bringing kids into it. And without vetting the book for themselves, they're showing up to school board meetings to be panicky about a unicorn book that's just meant to inspire kids to be kind yeah. and to love themselves for who they are. Yeah. Don't have kids if you're afraid of the world around you, okay? If you're not bold, if you're not brave, don't have kids. Cuz yeah, the world is challenging. And if you're gonna be panicked about it 100% of the time to the point where you show up and harass school boards to ban certain things, you shouldn't have kids. You just shouldn't. And by the way, like again, it seems ridiculous that we have to continually talk about kids books, but that's the world they're putting on us. We make sure that we're balanced and everything. We're gonna talk about a lot of different things, but was it maybe one year ago that the right lost their mind for a solid two to three weeks because Dr. Seuss, the publisher, decided not to publish one of the books anymore? It wasn't even canceled, it wasn't like, Parents were like, no, you can't bring in this to school. The publisher was like, nobody reads this, nobody buys it. We're not gonna publish anymore. And they lost their minds about cancel culture. And now they're running around trying to look for cupcakes and unicorns on any cover. Oh, there's more than six colors. We gotta get this banned. One year, a switch over. Can we expect at least some level yeah. of consistency? I'm not saying no, that you no. have to have a consistent approach to cancel culture or boycotts. These are big topics. But like specifically kids books, can you at least be specific, like consistent in that specific of an arena? Yeah, no, uh, apparently when Dave Rubin published a book titled Don't Burn This Book, he was only talking about his book. Mm -hmm. uh, other books, totally okay to burn. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR, so those are super fun, but you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video, thank you.